Hello and welcome to a demonstration on how to use the Mentor License Utility to automate the updating of all MGLS.dll files in a target installation area. Now you might ask why would we need to update this particular file? Well the MGLS.dll is the licensing DLL so maybe there is a fix to a, a licensing related problem and so we want to update our installation with a newer licensing DLL. So here we start out on my desktop and I've just downloaded the Mentor License Utility install program. So I'll go ahead and start this. And I'm going to install to the default location. And then the main interface automatically comes up. Now if you think you may already have the Mentor License Utility installed, you might take a quick look for it in the Start menu down under Mentor Graphics License Utility and then Mentor License Utility Shortcut. So back to the main interface, we want to navigate over to the Tools menu, down to Update File, and then MGLS.dll. Now here we have two different selections. The top one is the default selection, which is current FlexNet version. Now this is the one that you'll pick in almost all cases. The older FlexNet version may be appropriate if you have older versions of the software, but typically a CAE will advise you on if you need to use this particular selection. So we're going to go with the default and current FlexNet version. And when the File Replace Options dialog comes up, go ahead and select all of the defaults and click Next. And at this point it's asking for the target directory where we want to search for all MGLS.dll files and update any that are out of date. So we're going to go down into our PADS 931 installation and click OK. And at this point it is updating all of the DLL files that are older uh, with the newer version there which is 9.5.6.1 in this case. And once it's done it will show us all of the matches and all of the updates that took place. And there it's finished and 15 files were updated. And, and there's another reason we want to use the Mentor License Utility because there can be quite a few of these files throughout the installation area. So with that, it concludes the demonstration. Thank you for your time.